uh, Mr Speaker. May I raise with the Prime Minister the concerns of millions of drivers and hauliers across the United Kingdom who worry about the cost of uh, driving, cost of fuel duty, whether her government will look at keeping that down, and also at the pump pricing and how forecourt pricing has uh, worked as the oil price changes, prices jump like a rocket and fall like a feather. Well, I, I recognise, as, as my honourable friend says, that many people look with very great concern about the cost of motoring in this country. I suggest, uh, as I have done to some of my other honourable friends, that he is a little more patient and waits for the Chancellor's autumn sale. There is one further area of household expenditure where the government can help. The oil price has risen by over 60% since January, and sterling has declined by 15% against the dollar. That means, of course, significant pressure on prices at the pumps here in Britain. So today, we stand on the side of millions of hard-working people in our country by cancelling the fuel duty rise for the seventh successive year. In total, this saves the average car driver £130 a year and the average van driver £350 a year. This is a tax cut worth £850 million next year, Mr Speaker, and means the current fuel duty freeze is the longest for 40 years. Yeah.